Now I recently watched a Michael Reeves video on building a laser pointer that targets your eyes. On one of these, ah! And like all people, I immediately searched online to see if I can buy one. Understandably, of course. However, to my own surprise, there was none online for sale. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and decided to build one of my own. First, I need an Arduino. What the phenomenon is an Arduino? Uh, so actually, an Arduino is an open source hardware and software company that designs and manufactures single board microcontrollers that use <laughs> An Arduino is a mini computer that you can program to do whatever you want. Like point a laser into your eye. Over here, I have got an Arduino starter kit. First, we've got a user manual. Cool. Arduino Uno. There's breadboards in here. But I have no idea what a breadboard is. Seems doable. That's cool. Ooh, ooh. This is something that you'd find in your garage. Here in my garage, just bought this uh... potentiometer. Next to where all the other junk is. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Some more junk. The LEDs, these are what we're gonna be lighting up, I guess. These are the resistors. Hmm. Hmm. Now, off first glance. Glance, glance, glance. In Australian English, glance. Glance. My first impression, this does not look like bread. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not eat this. There's a plus and a minus, I guess that's like, that's useful. Aha. Bro, I'm so scared. I don't want to damage it. Okay. 十七种抗癌药. I am sick and tired of pretending I know what civil engineering is. What? What do they even do? Create civil rights or something? Poopy. Also, electrical engineering. What's up with that? Has anyone honestly ever seen electrical, electrical engineer? I know I haven't. Do they even exist? And let's say they do exist, right? What do they even do? They just go to work and then they come back from work. Just some, f just some thoughtful food. Wait. Potentiometer. Potenti oh, is that what this is? I have buttons. We get the breadboard. Move the mouse out of the way. Get the breadboard. Let's put this here. Get the breadboard. Get the Arduino. LED. We put it in somewhere. We put it somewhere. It's good to know. As you can see, I just put it somewhere. And then we get one of those cool resistors. The wires are put in different rows. So we've got to put one of them into the same row. But wait, did you see that? Let's rewind to see it again. Reset the limits. All new Wrangler. And then the other one. Just another random row. Put it snugly in there. It's like a little s spider, little daddy long legs. And then in the row that we put the other one, I guess we connect that to the Arduino. We've almost reached the three minute mark, which means on average, most of you are about to click off. Please do not. Thank you. Let's grab one of the jumpers. You know, they used to call me Mr. Big Boy, you know, the teacher used to always tell me to move the chairs because I'm strong. Connect that. Oh crap, I need another one. You know, they used to call me Big Man. Oh, this one's easy. Can you see? This jumper cable is connected with this, and then this one connected to the resistor, resistor connected to the other jumper cable. <laughs> I just realized, we gotta first program this thing. Big brain. I started off with the basics of Arduino. Sign in details? Oh, I think not. And then I was faced with my mortal enemy, the download option. My biggest enemy. General care. Cleaning your board. And then I got curious if I can do this on VS Code. Can I not use this on Visual Studio Code? The problem was, I didn't have Visual Studio Code. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Install test dot, you know. I swear I'm normal, I'm not like. 
what do I do here? Command power, Arduino examples, built-in examples, basic blink. Ah, uh, <laughs> no way. This was exactly what I was about to code and having it ready just saved a lot of time. How do we upload this? This was my next challenge. I didn't know how to upload my code into the Arduino. Once I figured that out, it still wouldn't work. After countless hours of trial and error, I finally figured out the problem. I had to move around the wiring. And there you go. It's winking. I mean, uh, blinking. It's blinking. Woohoo! Yay! Oh my god, I can't believe this. Wow. Let's begin building the laser pointer. First, we need an Arduino. Then we need to get two high torque servo motors, a webcam, and laser diodes. While those are on their way, here are some projects that I did on my own. For example, by clicking this button, I can light up the LED. Now every time I click this button, it's gonna buzz. This potentiometer controls the speed of this fan. Hey, it's me, from the future. You may know me from, well, this video that you just watched. I don't know where I was going with this. I realize some of you haven't subscribed yet. No, you might as well just click that button already. You know those parts that I just told you I was gonna order? Well, they're taking a bit longer than expected. So I decided to cut this video short and a second part will be up as soon as those arrive. So don't worry, <laughs> second part is coming. <laughs> they're not gonna watch it.